Daniel Bryan criticized for defending Brie Bella. Welcome back to the ACB Wrestling Talk channel, your main source for wrestling news, topics, discussion, previews, all that kind of good stuff. I am your host, Alexis Carrillo, and we've all bared witness to the entire discussion amongst wrestling fans of Brie Bella should be fired, Brie Bella should retire, Brie Bella should do this, Brie Bella should do that amongst wrestling fans because of the concussion that Liv Morgan now bears because of Brie Bella's yes kicks. And one thing I want to point out is yes. In one way or another, those final two yes kicks that caused the concussion on Liv Morgan were reckless, but they were also an accident. It was also a fact of Liv Morgan and Brie Bella being off time, and Brie Bella just clocking Liv Morgan in the face a couple of times causing that concussion, but in the end, it was an accident. Anyway, a couple of days ago, Daniel Bryan came out on social media and gave his thoughts on his on this whole situation defending his wife Brie Bella on Twitter. And here are said tweets. I am proud of how strong my wife is. After accidentally injuring Liv Morgan last week, the first time Brie's ever hurt another performer, she's been subject to a constant barrage of social media attacks. Almost every wrestler has accidentally hurt someone, but rarely do you see the kind of hate when it happens. For example, I concussed Randy Orton in 2012 after hitting him with what was supposed to be a chair to the back. Unfortunately, part of the side hit him in the back of the head and he was forced to miss a pay-per-view. In 2009, in our last match against each other, I concussed Nigel McGuinness after doing a dive into him in the crowd where his, hit, where his head hit the floor. And then there are others. As for the yes kicks, two weeks ago I accidentally kicked Andrade directly in the head due to a miscommunication on my part. I feel fortunate that he was okay because there were a few feelings worse than, hurt, than hurting someone. Despite all of that, never did I receive the backlash Brie did this week. With all the negative things said about my wife, nobody was harder on her than she was on herself. Thank you to the many people who reached out to support her, both publicly and privately. We all wish Liv Morgan a speedy recovery, hashtag, and cyberbullying. So, obviously, Daniel Bryan coming out in defense of his wife, Brie Bella, but one thing I noticed is that fans, either they did not uh, pay attention to these tweets, they did not interpret them as a way of, yes, understanding the situation that every single wrestler in the business is in, or they did not, or they just did not want to interpret the situation in that way. So basically, in my opinion, fans just dismissed these tweets by saying, oh, he has to say that Brie Bella is his wife. He has to say that. Otherwise, you know, he's being a bad husband. And to me, that just screams of one thing and one thing only. Which can be described in a barrage of things, you know. And this is just my opinion. But to me, a lot of fans are being biased. A lot of fans are, be, are playing favorites. For example, Brie Bella is someone who fans were not excited about returning to WWE. They were not excited about the thought of it. They were not excited when, they, when she returned, uh, accompanied with Nikki Bella and the Bella Twins. The fact that WWE uh, advertised it as these two legends returning to WWE did not help the situation, so there's a lot of fan backlash against the Bella Twins for returning to WWE even before this entire situation. A lot of fans talking about how they do not deserve to be a part of this wrestling evolution. 
they uh, talking about how they do not deserve to be a part of the upcoming pay-per-view on October 28th because they were not a part of that evolution which to me just screams favoritism it just screams bias because here we have these two ladies of the Bella Twins who were about 10 years ago debuted in WWE yes they were they were not of this era but you have girls like like Lita and like Trish Stratus from 20 years ago who were also not a part of this era if you're talking about how give the ladies the women to, of today the chance of being for in the front of this pay-per-view then criticize Lita, criticize Trish Stratus for returning, criticize WWE for allowing them to return. They aren't a part of this era. You know, you want to know other superstars who are not a part of this era anymore? Just look at the main event of this Monday Night Raw that, that, that just happened. The Undertaker, Triple H, Kane, Shawn Michaels, 20, 25 years ago, they were the top stars. Today, they're legends. Should not be in the main event of Raw. Should not be in the main event of Super Showdown. Yet they are. And they do not receive the hate that Brie Bella is getting. Back to the fact that Brie Bella did concuss Liv Morgan. But fans already did not want her around. Now they have even more fuel on the fire because of this. To want to kick her out. At the end of the day, that's not decisions that fans have to make, and I'm glad for that because they're not businessmen. They aren't going to be running the business that is WWE. And finally, wrestlers know what kind of business they are getting into. It's a contact sport, it's physical. Wrestlers get hurt all the time. You want to talk about how wrestlers are being reckless with their kicks and their moves and you just want to point out Brie Bella? How about you, how about you go a, few, a couple of weeks ago on Smackdown Live when Shinsuke Nakamura did a King Shasa, performed a King Shasa on Ty Dillinger and then he hit his hit the back of his head on the LED board. That was hard. That was tough. That was hard to watch. That was hard-hitting style. Nobody complained. Nobody complained about that hard-hitting uh, maneuver that Nakamura performed. But when Brie Bella does it, when somebody they don't like does it, everyone on social media starts swarming up and talking about it and spreading hate. Spreading hatred. And it's just how toxic this entire situation of fandom has become. That fandom, rather than focus on the positive of things, all they want to do is complain. All they want to do is focus on negativity. All they want to do is point out the negatives in every situation when there are just as much positive situ situations as there are negative situations. That's one of the things that bugs me as a fan. Wrestlers know what business they are in. They are not going to complain about it. Wrestlers get hurt. They don't get hurt on purpose, obviously. These are accidents that happen, obviously. So you're not going to hear wrestlers complaining about the fact that they're getting concussed or they're getting hurt after every single match because that's the business they are in. You don't expect a surgeon to complain about all the stress and all the pressure that they have and the fact that they are, that they are doing 30 plus hour shifts because that is the business that they are in. That is their career. They know what they've gotten themselves into. They accept it. Fans need to accept that as well. That's just my opinion. That's just my take on this situation. If you have a different take, if you have a different opinion, I respect it. Leave it on the comments section below. I'd love to read it. 
I'd love to hear your opinions on this situation. But at the end of the day, people make a big fuss about things they dislike because of what they dislike. Not because they care. That's how I view the situation, anyway. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike this video, hit the dislike button. If you follow wrestling news, topic, discussion, previews, all that kind of good stuff, consider subscribing. That's it for me. Till next time.